Oopsie. Hi Capricorn. Welcome to your Y reading for July 5th through August 4th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the link for the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Cock Frost at Am I Trippin' or Not nah Tarot. Um, also, it has in the title, The Ghetto Nun, and she's, it says TM, which is a trademark, I'm assuming. Anyway, just want to get that all in there, so I say it right. Uh, check her out. Stop by, show her some love and support if you can. All right, Capricorn. Why for Capricorn? This can be, we have the moon there. All right, some things need to be illuminated. A lot of um, uncertainty and suspicion going on. Um, could be dealing also with a Pisces or a Cancer. But shucks, this is looking at why, whatever your why is. So hopefully this answers that or at least offers uh, clarification. Doesn't have to be romantic. It could be friendship. I'm just a little dropping mess over here. Or like a family job. Anything situational, but it deals with you in another situation that involves somebody or something meaningful to you. Right. Capricorn. Why for Capricorn? So we've got the Six of Cups here. judgment so wow six of cups and judgment hi reconciliation or at least dealing with a lot of um a lot of memories coming up a lot of issues from the past all right so we've got we've got judgment nine of cups the hermit which is also a nine this could be virgo Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, that's better. Although kind of tilted, maybe not so much. Okay. All right. So the issue is about things from the past presenting themselves to be dealt with again, whether that is a reconciliation or whether that is forgiveness and you both go your separate ways. The things, there's a, there is a decision that has been made or a reckoning, if you will. That remains to be seen. What's this judgment about? Two, two nines. What's this judgment about? So we got two nines and two sixes. So that is about receipt and irritability. Things are in flux. What's this judgment about? Is this somebody from your past that you are hoping to have a reconciliation with because of the, um, because you consider them an ideal partner, it was an ideal relationship, or were you not getting your needs met, they were uh, providing for you, Capricorn, but you weren't getting, you weren't meeting their needs. Is that what, what's going on here? What, what, what's up here? What's this Nine of Cups about for Capricorn? What's this Nine of Cups? We got, this could be Taurus, this could be Virgo, and Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius here. We got Pisces or Cancer here with the High Priestess. So the okay, hold on. This could be them quite happy with the withdrawal or separation. They're using this time for self care and self reflection, um, and we see that here with the Hermit. What's this Hermit about? Could be Aries right here, Virgo Aries. So the Queen of Wands, but that, what, okay, what's this five, oh boy, what's this Five of Pentacles about? This Five of Pentacles for Capricorn. So we got two cards of movement, three cards of movement, one, two, three, 
movement or moving away or vacation travel, changing house, that sort of thing. So, you know, relocating. Um, by and large, it looks like someone has kind of left and disconnected from this relationship in an effort to figure out what they want and go after it. And they're quite content to be off on their own sort of journey. Um, was the issue that you two couldn't get past issues from the past and forgive and move on? Um, is it that you couldn't transition to a healthier place with each other? We've got two cards of moving on right here. What's this? What's this six of swords about? And they don't want to talk. Okay. What's this six of swords about? Okay. They are. Um, this is all, this is like reconciliation or not reconciliation, but a reckoning with the past, someone from the past. But there's also to some degree, somebody couldn't let go of things from the past. What's this eight of wands about? What's this eight of wands? What's this eight of wands about? Capricorn. Movement, getting the heck out of Dodge. Um, this is, you need to let go and move on and move. You need to move also. If you're still in the same town, move. If you're still in the same house, move. You, it's, we got the world here. This is about closure. We got the world. We got the six of cups, uh, eight of cups, sorry, uh, six of swords, five of pentacles and eight of cups. There's eight of cups. What's this page of swords for Capricorn? Here's where it gets tricky. We've got the Page of Swords with an Ace of Wands. So either they're doing that solo or this is them reaching out to you and wanting to know if you're up for um, trying again or, or some kind of... Because we got reconciliation here with the Judgment, but is that to say I'm sorry? Is that for a second chance? It looks like they're kind of happy being on their own and wanting to... Wanting to figure out what to do. And it's, it's, this is somebody or the issues were that either you or the other person could not let go of things from the past or you didn't want to let go of the relationship and move on. Especially the emotional issues. You weren't able to let go of the things that were kind of, uh, sorry about that. I just realized I had a cord plugged in here, but you weren't able to move on and transition to a, a healthier place or to healthier emotional waters with someone them being you or you being anyway so what is this new start is this is this cutting things off and a new start or is this them reaching out to talk with you about a new beginning but it looks like there's a lot of time being spent with them kind of soul searching so are you in separation or have they just come back out of the blue and they're wanting to talk to you about, hey, we used to have it really good. I've done some soul searching and I think I figured out how to do this. And I know the last time we were together, my needs weren't getting met. Um, but I, I never felt like we ended on the way we should. So is that what they're coming back about? Or are they coming back about a fresh start? That, of course, is going to be for you to decide, right? Um, everybody's situation is different, but, and this is general. <laughs> um, What's this, what's this Eight of Wands about? Because I can't tell if they're cutting things off and going to start by themselves because we've got the Page of Swords and the Hermit here. And then we've got the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. This one's a doer. This one makes things happen. This one facilitates. This is that fresh new beginning. This is reaching out online or indirectly after some soul searching. Or is it cutting things off? for good and they're going to just start anew with somebody else. What's this eight of wands and the chariot here? What's this eight of wands and the chariot? Okay. All right. Um, okay. So your job, <laughs> it looks like that this could be either way and whatever your situation is, obviously you will know. Uh, but either way, whatever this is about, you need to move forward post haste. Um, 
I feel like it's about movement. We've got moving, 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 moving. I think you need to, it, it's not done, it's not over, but for right now it is. And you need to position yourself to be able to look forward to the future, come what may. It's a good omen. It's like starting a new chapter. This one's not done yet, but it is for now. And so that's kind of what your stance should be. And this is all about you starting for now uh, in a different direction, post haste immediately. Got the eight of wands here. If, if you haven't moved, you need to move. If you haven't made plans, you need to make plans. You need to get vertical and get after it. Um, sometimes it can be really simple to just have life be about the day to day and the eight to five, and then you go home, but everything else stays the same. And this is saying, nope, you need to shake up. You need a change in direction. You need a, a change in direction. And it needs to happen sooner rather than later. And I don't think it's that you need any distance from this. I just don't think you need to stay where you are. I don't think that's healthy. I feel like this might have started off talking about this person coming back and asking about um, a second chance or, hey, remember when, and then it devolved. It devolved. So that something happened to where they initially reached out or they initially re-entered somehow and there was kind of a conversation and then it's devolved since then. Um, they, the ending has never sat well with them and maybe that's what they can't get over but that doesn't mean that you two had a great relationship. They're just hung up on the ending and that they didn't get their needs met but I think it's more about they don't like the way things ended. Hmm. What else for Capricorn here? What else for Capricorn? King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. Did I see the moon here? I did not see the moon. That moon flipped in the beginning. Yeah. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be Cancerian, Aries, Virgo. Pisces or Cancerian, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. A mixed bag here. This is a situation where it feels like you need to withdraw emotionally from. Because this right here feels like that someone, when, when I say someone here, I mean you. <laughs> uh, but it feels like, and, and it doesn't have to be only you, it could be both of you, but there was a real difficulty in letting go of the past past hurts, what someone did, what they couldn't do or what they didn't do. And this person coming back, and if they haven't yet, they're, they're going to. Um, this is where you need to be in a guarded position. I'm surprised the Four of Pentacles didn't show up, but you need to guard your emotions. It's not that they're bad. It just, I don't know what it is. I, I, I But I feel like you need to just be kind of in self-preservation mode. Maybe this is them coming back and saying they're sorry and, and, and then that rapidly accelerates you to a, an unknown but very good uh, situation. You know, like not knowing what's going to happen, but it's a reversal of everything you experience, that disconnect, that uneasy parting. There's some sort of reckoning or I'm sorry or something to where it sets you, it, it reverses the way it was and you are like propelled into this awesome new opportunity either with someone else or with... Um, with a job, some, something new is around the corner that's gonna be really good, it's just that you don't know what it is yet and you can't see it. And I mean, whatever is gonna happen though, it's gonna happen quickly because we got the Eight of Wands and the Chariot here. So this is, this is good coming your way, but it also has, it, it has to do with this being resolved or them atoning or asking for forgiveness. And you're, you'll be receptive and compassionate, but you're not gonna be like gung-ho ready to get back in the thick of things or whatnot it will remain to be seen if there is a reconciliation or an i'm sorry though that i don't know what's this page of swords about okay so we got the four cups here all right what else for 
Oopsie. I can't tell if this is saying run or if this is, it feels like, it feels like this is atonement. Like they come back in, they're still stuck on how they feel. They can't have, they, they're just not okay with how things ended and it's atonement and forgiveness. And then you two both are on your merry way. And this is, there's somehow something about this that kind of catapults you into a new direction. Like all is right with the world. Everything's healed and you're now able to move on. Like where you couldn't let go of things before, now you can. And if this isn't you, that whatever was keeping you two tied to each other, like that there was the issues of, you know, someone not being able to let go of things, now you can. Also, these three cards are all of movement and distance. So this could be that the issues were because of distance as well, that that's the main reason why things didn't work out, largely because of distance. So either you couldn't let go, so maybe that, it's like, that person was still in the back of your mind, but because of the distance, there was no forward movement. Now, maybe situation, circumstance are different. Maybe they surprise you by letting, you know, all of a sudden they're like in the vicinity and in the area logistically, and this is about forward movement with them and who knows what's gonna happen, but it bodes well because they are now in the area. So whatever is unresolved, they somehow get back in touch with you. They come back in and it's either going to be, hi, I'm in the area, let's, can we try it now? Or it's like, look, I'm sorry things didn't work out. Oh, by the way, I'm in the area, but it's not a new beginning. Either way, this King of Cups right here, you need to be in control of your emotions. <laughs> Very well could be them moving back into your area or movement, which is why you couldn't have forward movement before. I mean, this could be you, you met them on travel or like um, on vacation or something, and then there, you, everybody had to go back to their separate homes and... You've never forgotten each other. You've never gotten over the past. And then here they come and it's like, you're off to the races. Drastically different scenario from, oh, somebody needs to let go of the past. Maybe not so much because this could be them pining away for you. And then they're finally in a position to reach out, make it happen. Why am I shuffling that? All right. What else for Capricorn? Or Capricorn. That's for Capricorn. Okay, we got the bear and we got the snake. So the bear is uh, very, well, in this sense, it can be very protective and very nurturing and very uh, strong with the potential for stability because of the protective nature, because of the very... Um, Formidable nature has a potential for longevity. The seven snake um, hmm. This is some this this could be diplomacy and wisdom uh, It could be that somebody kind of has to do what they have to do and they it might involve deceitful Behavior or betraying but it's a means to an end for this type of person They, they view life that way like well, I got to do what I got to do. Sometimes it works out for everybody. Sometimes it's um, very cold-hearted. Uh, okay. So, hmm. Ten of Wands for the bear and the Queen of Wands for the snake. So this is all about things coming. It got to be too much. There was an ending and now someone's in kind of decisive mode, uh, needing to take care of their own, their own self, their take care of business mode. So I don't know how that relates to, well, yes I do. Because this is, this is what this King of Cups is about. This is about you staying strong and in your own space, so to speak. Um, I, God, but it keeps feeling like somebody's gonna reach out and kind of wanna unearth the past and see about a potential, depending on how you react, I feel like is going to dictate what they're going to say. I, this, I, it feels like this could be a, Hey, I'm in town. How are you? Or I've never stopped thinking about you. I'm sorry about how things ended. Can we meet and talk? Maybe people don't talk like that to each other anymore. Maybe there's not that direct of communication. It's like, Hey, you want to hang, go meet for some coffee, whatever, because everything's so fluid now, but <sighs> Hmm. The bear and the snake, though, this is all about someone being very... 
It could be that there was somebody that was kind of domineering and possessive, but then there was betrayal and deceit involved. Interesting. Huh. I don't know. I, I, don't, I feel like as things might do in long distance relationships, they kind of get wonky because you're not there. People get lonely. People get, you know, a, a whole number of reasons. But then now that you're in town, hey, maybe even I know all of this happened, but now that I'm back in town and I'm, we're going to be in proximity, maybe it'll be different with things. I'm up for it if you are. That's what this feels like. And you're like, mm, I don't know. I'm going to be guarding my emotions here. I'm going to, I'm going to show up because I do care, but there might be a lot that we have to get over first before I'm ready to kind of, you know, roll the dice and see what happens here. Speaking of rolling the dice, that's the Capricorn. Capricorn. So a Queen of Wands again, wasn't this the Queen of Wands? No, that's the Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Huh, Queen of Wands. I got the Knight of Swords. So it does look like somebody is going to be facilitating, reaching out and trying to take the, the reins and sort of, and, and this is unexpected communication, unexpected communication. So it looks like someone's going to be trying to get out in front of something, take the leadership position here, um, go rogue out of the blue. There might be this communication from this person. We got the Queen of Wands here also, um, unexpectedly. I don't think the ending ever sat well with them. I don't, I don't think the way things ended and I don't think the reason why things ended ever sat well with them. I don't think they ever really kind of got over it. I think they just shelved it, but they had to do what they had to do. Circumstances being what they were, but I think things are different now and I think they want to kind of um, reopen the case <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it. Okay, all right. I hope this was helpful, Capricorn. I hope to see you in the next reading. I thank you for stopping by. I hope this answers why. I mean, I know I pose a lot of questions, but I hope you, I hope it helps. At least give some clarification. We got two cards of things being over, like a karmic ending or thing, karma, you know, a, a cycle being concluded, but it also looks like there's this revisiting of it, like opening it back up. Okay. Hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.